Hello, hello everybody. It is Taylor, Star Pills brand educator here, and I'm going to go over troubleshooting our blue hard wax formula. So I'm gonna go over melting everything down as well as proper application and consistency. All right, so I'm gonna start melting down my blue. So I'm gonna cut my warmer on. I cut it all the way up. And then I fill my warmer halfway. And then I let that melt down for about 20 minutes until it's completely melted down. And then I go back and fill up the warmer with more beads. And then that way I just mix it up all together to create that perfect consistency. So I'm let this melt down, like I said, for about 15-ish minutes or so. And then I'll be back to add more beads. All right, guys, so about half of my wax pot has melted down. I'm just stirring to get all these clumps out. Um, so now I'm going to add more wax beads to fill the warmer up and to get it to the right consistency. So I like to add and stir, just makes my life easier. You're gonna have a clump that is completely fine. You're just gonna stir it out because it is going to melt down anyway. So you're gonna keep on doing this until you fill up your warmer and then you're gonna cut the temperature down. So this big clump, completely normal. You just gotta use your arms to break it up and then you'll be good. So I'm gonna add some more wax and keep doing that until it is full and at the consistency that I need it to be. So if you ever get wax on your warmer, you can just take a clean spatula and clean it. And you can always use a cotton round with oil, which I'm gonna do in a second, and just wipe it down. But I normally do that once the pot is filled up because I might get wax on it again. So I added some more beads, I'm just gonna stir this in and like I said I'm just going to keep adding wax until it is full and at the consistency that I need it to be and I'm going to cut the temperature down in a little bit as well so when you're adding beads and the wax is this warm be careful when you are stirring because the beads will fly out and it will drive you crazy because you will have to clean them up. So see the clumps are starting to melt down. You just gotta keep stirring. That is key, especially with our formulas because they're so temperature sensitive. You always have to stir throughout your shift and throughout the service. And if you're ever really in a rush, you can just fill it up like this, leave it up a little bit higher, and then just put the lid on, and then stir and adjust the temperature. So this is just a cotton round with a little bit of oil on it, just to clean it up. And look how easy breezy that is. And like I said, be careful when you are stirring the beads if you are in a rush. These will fly up in your face. It has happened to me a thousand times. So at this point, you can fill it up more if you really wanted to. But I'm going to let this set. See, the wax strings are flying everywhere already. I'm gonna clean that up. But this is good for me. So now I am going to put the lid on and I'm going to cut the temperature down to about 65 and let that cool down and set to the right consistency and I'll be back to show you what that looks like. 
All right guys, so I've gotten my blue down to the right consistency. It is at 75 right now. The working temp for our blue formula is 70 to 75 if you're using a Starbow warmer. But you see how nice and thick and pretty this blue is. So as always, keep stirring. Our formulas are very temperature sensitive. So if you're having issues with blue and it's a consistency issue, stir your wax and see if that helps first. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you what blue is supposed to look like at its right consistency. So you are gonna come into your warmer at a 45 degree angle and you are going to twirl and scoop and then you're gonna get that ball and it's going to look like this. So see, it's not running off of the stick. It's not too cool. I'm gonna have to keep twirling to keep it on the stick. So if I touch it, it's still, you see it's tacky, but it's not runny. So this is perfect. So now I'm gonna show you guys what the perfect blue strip will look like. So I'm gonna get a ball just like this. So you're gonna start at the top and apply at a 90 degree angle and apply lots of pressure as you are pulling that wax all the way down to create an even strip. And then you are going to curve and make a lip so you can properly remove that. If you ever need to even out and spread out more wax, that is perfectly fine, just like that. So see, thick, even edge, lip right here. If you ever wanna go back in and correct a strip, because it's hard wax, that is not a problem. So you're just gonna go get a little bit more wax and add it to wherever you feel like you need some correcting. So see, thick, even edge, nice lip, removal. So now I'm gonna show you what a improperly applied strip looks like. So you're gonna get your ball and this is what's gonna happen if you go flat. So if you go flat, one, your wax is not going to go as far and you're not gonna get a clean, even strip. So see how it's really thick on one side? And even if you were to go through and apply it too flat, it still doesn't spread. And that's the same amount of wax, but see it has this uneven, super thin edge right here. All of this is just gonna crack and break on your client. So see how it's too thin right here? Thick, even edge, too thin clearly too thin, perfect thick tap. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys what blue looks like when it is too cool. So you see there is that layer. So now I'm going to make my ball, and you see how it's even a different color and it's not moving on my stick. This is how you know it's too cool. If you apply this to your client, it's just gonna pull and tug their hair and it's gonna make them more prone um, to ingrowns as you're gonna probably break a lot more hair. So see if you touch it, it's not as runny. And if this was to cool down a little bit more, you would be able to completely touch it without any wax coming off. You see how non-runny it is? When it's the right temperature, you already know like it's not gonna be able to sit like this, especially if you're not twirling it, see? Definitely way, way, way too tacky. All right, so that wraps up our troubleshooting for our blue hard wax formula. As always, if you have any questions or need further assistance, always reach out to our personal account managers at 305-907-0756 or email us at info at Thank you, bye. <laughs>